September 1st, 2023. A storm is coming. I can smell it. I've been on the force for seven years and I've never had a case like this. The apartment's under fire and I'm on thin ice. And it's no thanks to that no good loose cannon manning. Shoot. I lost the hog. 20 days and 20 nights under the gun. I need to find them before the football game. That's what they called it in the 1920s. I'm well past my golden age. Long past. This town has gone soft. This town is worried about doing the right thing. My job is to get it done, not get it done by the book. I've been doing everything by the book for 15 years. I'm not going to let this two-bit yuck stand between me and the hard truth. This case looms over the city like a dark veil, casting a shadow of doubt over all incumbents. The truth is going to come out, one way or another. They're going to come after me. I can hear faint pitter-patter of the law. I'd say six floors down. Reminds me of Minetti. He always tries to weasel his way out to save face. He was a good friend. A good cop. Man, a better cop would have had Manning behind bars as soon as he stepped out of line. Why are there so many stairs? These days, man, he couldn't catch a cold. Manny thinks he's the bee's knees. The cat's pajamas. He thinks too small. He'll be on the nut by the end of the month. Cheapskate. Good for nothing. Slimy. Son of a... He's, he's an, an idiot. idiot! So there I was. Drinking my long-awaited beverage with a misty glow of moonlight seeping through my window. Normally anyone with a brain will barge in. But I'm not dealing with anyone. Given the circumstances, Manning thinks he has the high ground. But the only thing to tie here is his egotistical view on this case. This buster has no choice but to give it up. He might have friends in high places, but so do I. He thinks he can walk into my office and demand answers? He'll give them to me. He has to. For the sake of the city. We used to drink out of the same bottle. Then he got too thirsty for his own good. Look at him, acting smug as a bubble bug. Sipping on his drink like he owns the place. But Eddie hasn't said a word, probably sizing me up for a brawl. Your mother! What's up, everybody? I am not Conan. I'm not 17 or so Jimmy's in a trench coat. I am Ahmad Moreno, and this is the After Hours Show. Um, we've got a great show for you tonight. Dominic Valdez, Sundance nominee, 20 years in a row. Um, here to promote his new show. Uh, we've got no music, and a great time. So stick around. I think we're going to commercial, I don't know. Welcome back everybody. First guest of the night, we have Dominic Valdez, accomplished director, entrepreneur, philanthropist, uh, secret, Lee owes me a lot of money. Dominic Valdez, bring him out. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Wow. Yes. Indeed. You you showed up. I did. I wasn't going to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, um, nice nice to have you on the program. Of course, I have. I, uh, it's an honor to be on the program. That Absolutely. I programmed. You programmed. You programmed this this program. I, I did program this program. Yeah. The, uh, Viper or, or what is it? Uh, no, NBC. 
We're being C plus plus. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the coding joke. Okay, oh, whatever. Oh, I thought. <laughs> okay. My bad. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Okay. Um, but this is this is uh, the after hours show. Yes. Uh, created by. Yes, it's created by me. I'm the creator of the after hours show. Wow. Not to toot my own horn or whatever, but okay. that's me. I'm okay. That guy. I'm okay. Uh, well, what? Yeah. Uh, why? Why, did I, I why are we doing this? I yeah. created this show because I wanted to give not only the students of Tamuk, but the community something to watch when they are bored at night and uh, they want to watch something on the Havilena Media Experience. Yeah. And they've already watched all the episodes of the news broadcasts and they've already watched all the episodes of uh, you know, all the videos that we've made and you know, They've already watched all the sports. They were at the sports. All of them. They were already at the sports. Everyone's, sports. everyone. Exactly. Yeah. So. I'm very bored at night. And the first thing I want to do <laughs> is turn on the Havelina media experience. Exactly. So I decided <laughs> the After Hours show was a great way to get people to watch late at night. Sure. After the hours. After and hours. After the hours. After exactly. the hours. That's exactly why I did this. Wow. So, yeah. That's the story. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm doing great. I mean, the I think show, you're doing great. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, so um, you you work for the school. I do. You work for the paper specifically, the South Texan. Yes, I do. Uh, what do you? What, how, how's that? What, what is that like? Um, you're big, stressful. Stressful, big See, time photographer. I yes, I I am. I consider myself a photographer. You know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I guess if you want to know my whole backstory, my history. I don't. Okay. Well, you're going to get it anyways. <laughs> okay. My lore is uh, okay. I started here at the South Texan my like junior year, I think. Right. And uh, I guess my, yeah, it's like my junior year. And uh, I was, I was, I was, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Mm. I was dead broke. I was like, I was about to get evicted. Same sis. Yeah. So I was like, the system, this ain't it. So I, I, you. I was like, well, I want to be a photographer. And I looked around and I was like, oh, the newspaper, they take pictures. Do they get paid for that? And then mm. uh, I couldn't find them. So I mm -hmm. ran around the whole school, did a whole journey. Yeah. And then I found it here in Manning Hall. Okay. Um, I don't remember what room it is. I'm sorry. It's right there. It's, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, not right. to not to date this program, uh, but um, but it's right here. It's right here. And then so <laughs> <laughs> I went to I went there. I found this place. I talked to to Morris. She was amazing. She uh, basically hired me right on the spot. Mm -hmm. um, don't tell Todd that. Don't tell Todd that. And then uh, <laughs> he's I, gonna be watching this late at night on the Havelina <laughs> Media Experience. Because that's Hi, what, Todd. that's what one does. They watch this program late at night on the Havelina Media Experience. Absolutely. And um, head of the department. I, uh, I got the job, and I, I've been I've been loving it ever since. It's been such a great experience to be here and like talk to everybody uh, here and interact with everyone. And I'm the digital editor now, so awesome. That's my that's my thing. Awesome. Would you would you say head editor? Would you, would you say no, that? not not editor. Not, not oh, that. not editor, but uh, but like digital. Digital. You know, digitally. Yeah. 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 I guess I guess so. Yeah? Yeah. You tell CJ that to yeah, their face? I yeah, I will. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I am. I am the head editor. <laughs> Call her right now. <laughs> on, 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 on the cast. I don't think she would pick up. <laughs> Probably not. She probably would not pick up. It's very, it's very late at night. <laughs> yeah. It's on the Havelina Media Experience. <laughs> that's when this episode yeah. is going up. Late at night. Late at night. That's when we're filming it. it. This is a late night talk show. Exactly. This is that's what it is. Okay. Did we talk about Deep and Noir? No, we have not talked about Deep and Noir. Um, precursor to this uh, this talk, uh, we 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 played a a little thing called Deep and Noir, a you know black and white noir styled uh -huh, uh, short film uh, directed by yours truly. Yeah. Not me truly, but this guy. Yeah. So I did that. Um, I think uh, when we filmed Deep in Noir all those many years ago, it was... <laughs> all those many, many years <laughs> many ago. Many years ago. I think, well, okay. 
I had to get you on Deep in Noir. Absolutely. Because I don't think any, I don't think a lot of people know this, but you're you're kind of an actor. I'm kind of an actor. You're kind of an actor. I'm a little bit of an actor. Yeah. And uh, I just thought, who who better to get on the project than than you know, Mr. Monroe over here. So I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, deep cut. Deep but cut. Yeah, deep deep cut. They deep in <laughs> deep in cut. Deep in noir. Yeah. Deep cut in noir. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I am an actor. In fact, I'm the what am I? I'm I'm the president of of, uh, of the theater club. Get at me. But yes. talk show. <laughs> but yeah, deep in noir. Um, it was uh, it was an experience making that. We uh, we mm -hmm. we learned a lot about you know cinematography and video and uh, how to make a film. Yeah. So you know, I think. When it comes down to it, we made something pretty good. Yeah, I think so too. You know, it was, uh, we got to, um, you know, relearn the ins and outs, uh, how long it takes to make something like that. It, it does. took a long time. Yeah, it did. It took a long time. I'm telling you, years. Years, centuries even. It took years. It was the longest thing we've ever done. We better cut that. <laughs> no, he's leave not, it in. He's not president anymore. He's not president. He'll never be president again. Just to date this, actually. Just, it would be so funny. <laughs> yeah. If people watch this episode after that election happens. Yeah, exactly. He, he wins. <laughs> if he wins, I'm out of a job. If he, yeah. Nothing could be funnier than that. I, I think, I, I don't know if I could, you know, measure up. To the challenge. I don't know what you're talking about. I want to be president. I, oh, okay. I don't want to be president. Okay. Don't. Please. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody at home. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, surprise guest coming on very soon. Uh, when we come back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back from the commercial break. I am Dominic Valdez. I'm the host of the After Hours Show, the one, the only host of the After Hours Show, mind you. We have a very, very special guest on tonight. We have first time Emmy Award winning, theater club acting, amazing grand stage presence of a man. Everyone, please give a big round of applause to Omar Moreno. How's it going? How's it going? Great to have you on the show. Great to have you. I've been fired. <laughs> <laughs> I would just cut it there. <laughs> okay. That's uh, good. That's good. Uh, um, all right, so, Mr. Omar. Yes. How does it feel being on the After Hours show? How does it feel? Man, it's... I've never experienced anything like this. I know. It's... I hate you. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I love being on the After Hours show. Um, tonight of all nights. Of course, exactly, because you know what tonight is. Yeah, it's... I don't have a watch. It's the last day to sign up for a payment plan for financial aid. It is. It, it absolutely day. is. In fact, it's too late because it's tonight. It is tonight. <laughs> it's the night. Not it's... to date this. Not to date this show. Oh no! Actually, to date this show. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Only the live studio audience knows this. Okay. Yeah. But uh. To the, tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. It's this is the tenth. But of course, after you know, you'll just be dropped if you don't meet yeah, it. Yeah, you will be. You know what? That I don't think this makes any sense. We're gonna upload this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyways, uh, it's, on a, it's part of it. In other news, right? In other news. In other news. That There's I a lot of news coming out right now. From now, the, from the grapevine. This I year of 2024. I heard that you, sir, are yes. the theater club president. I am. How does that make you feel? How how does being a theater club president affect not only your life but the life of everyone around you? It is absolutely. The worst. Um, no, I'm joking. Um, it's it's pretty fun. It's it's stressful. I'll be honest because you know it's it's a lot. Of, excuse me. We'll cut that out. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, it's a lot. It can be it can be stressful. It's it's just a 
to have that sort of authority. Uh, quote unquote, I don't have a ton of authority or anything. I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I wanted to get this, this thing off the ground. There's, what are you doing? What's this? What's this? What kind of show are you running here? What is, is there yeah. even an audience? The after hour <laughs> show. We're running the after hour show. This is what we're All doing. Right. But um, yeah, so theater club. Theater club. Uh, I'm the president of theater club. Uh, I really wanted to set it up. Uh, we had a couple things going on a couple years ago. We had APO. We had uh, this thing called Footlights. I never. I was never here for that. That was before my time. Uh, but I've I've been doing theater here at Tamuk since uh, fall 2021. A lot of people might know me because um, I played <laughs> I played a wolf in uh, in played a wolf in in Aladdin, mind you. Wow. Uh, no, actually, I think I heard that you were Rapunzel for one of the I, I was one of the theater projects. Fa very famously, I was Rapunzel. How yes. was how was that? Was the wig was the wig in your way a lot of the time? Or? My wig was snatched. Let me tell you, oh. I it it was it was interesting. You know what? It's. It is what it is. It's a, it was a children's show. Um, it was very. It was a. Fu it was fun to do. I was very glad to do it. Ultimately, um, I did the most I could with what I was given, and uh, I think I did a good job. I think it. I think it turned out okay. Uh, a lot of the uh, some adults weren't cool with it. Um, <laughs> they weren't we, cool with your performance. Some some Rapunzel. adults were not cool with my performance. That's of, interesting. Of Rapunzel. Yeah. Well, we do live in Texas. We so. are in a red state. We are in a red state. So. <laughs> I don't uh, think that's very. Uh, I, but, don't, I don't think that's very surprising. Yeah, but hey, we did it. We did it, and we got away with it. We did it. We did three shows, yeah. and hey, I was literally. I played a kid, dog. <laughs> I, played, <laughs> I played a child. You I don't are, know what I think to tell you. Are you are a very convincing child, though. I, I I look like I'm 14. I think you can play 14. I I shaved just for this, just so I could say that. Nice. That's not true. Well, but I did shave. Speaking about your other shows, we. Just heard that you did Frida last semester. I yeah. I hold on. Pause. I mean, you did the, the play. Like you were in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were I, in the Frida. I uh, was in uh, that production. You were Frida part of that. and Diego take a lover that looks at you like maybe your magic. I slurred that a little bit, but um, yeah, I was in that show. I was the narrator. You were the narrator. I was the narrator. So how does that differ from being like? The big, the big guy. You know what I mean? Like how yeah, that, like a, a big uh, main stage. The main actor. You know what yeah, I mean? it was uh, it was different. It's not something I can say I've done before. Um, I've done similar roles. Uh, we we did this uh, a show, uh, Irma Ran Hell. Um, oh boy, I can't remember the subtitle, uh, but it was uh, chronicling her life and and times, and um, it, that was a, um, a more uh, bi. Biographical, biographical piece uh, about about their life, and, and this was very similar. Only this time, I played a narrator, while two people actually uh, played uh, Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera um, live. So um, I was trying to bounce off them as kind of a a third world um, narrator, and I, I think it went pretty well. Um, I got some good reviews. Uh, I I enjoyed what we put on. I you know what? Funny story. Do tell. Do tell. Yeah, do I will. Tell I will. I will tell. Um, so we did three shows. All right. We did three shows. Three shows. And night one, pretty good. All right. Awesome. Night two, I got incredibly sick. Oh, that was the one I went to. You went to that. I went to the one that you were incredibly sick. I was incredibly in. sick. Yeah, you look like you were very sickly. I was very sickly. I was not COVID sickly. I was not anything. I w but for some reason, I was just so out of it. But I put on a good show. I, put on a, I was very proud of myself. I was very proud that I could, I could uh, give people a good time. Shows are free. <laughs> okay, so um, we, we put our all into those shows, um, and it was uh, it went on for what? It, it went it's over an hour. Yeah, it was like it was like an hour and a half. About. I think, but the thing about those shows that were so interesting was that you just like you're on stage with the actors. I don't think the audience understands this. Oh know? yeah, yes. But like the the way the play worked was that you were on the stage. Yes. With the actors on the stage as well, so you were sitting down on stage with the actors on stage. That's true. And like, it was it was such a surreal experience, like watching the play, 
and then yeah. like they would walk off and then they'd come back in a different outfit and it's like yeah. oh crazy. It's very like, it's very in your face. It's very in your face. Very it's in very your face. Uh, very visceral experience. So if you haven't if any of you out there haven't gone to a show from the theater department in Tamu, you definitely should because you know, Omar, he's the guy. I'm that guy. He's that guy. That's me, I'm well, the guy. You know, we actually <laughs> we actually found this oh. out <laughs> while we were uh, looking for stuff. So Omar, would you mind telling us uh, what this picture is of you? I do mind. Well, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, this is me. This is totally me, as you can see. That is you, yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> so what was going through your head when they took this picture of you? You know what? They honestly, they, they said, Stand there and, and look at me, and they said that's good. <laughs> and I thought honestly, it was a very we we had a little photography set up, right? We we a uh, professional photographer. We had this whole thing. I won't dox the guy because I I know who it is. But um, well, we all uh, me uh, Kavina, a Gage, we all uh, who who played uh, Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera, we. All got together uh, with uh, our director uh, Patrick Faraday, and uh, we we took uh, some pic promotional pictures for the show. And these uh, hung up. This one being mine uh, as the narrator is what I wore, of course, um, same jacket, and all that. And uh, we had, uh, and you know, they were in costume and they were edited a bit. Um, I don't know if if mine was too edited, um, but it was blown up to fit this uh, resolution. Uh, but there's not much to say, honestly. Uh, mine was the shortest one. I went first, and he said, hey, stand there. And I got it. That's crazy. And I got it. And well, if anyone wants to see this picture live in person. Live in person. It's going to be over there in the speech building by the little theater. Yeah. That, up on the wall. Was it in that hallway? That's, yeah. That's that they, exactly they, where it was. That you stole this from? Yeah. I actually went over there, and I just took it. Um, I was getting chased. By it sounds like you're joking. No, I'm not. But actually. No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I will be returning this after okay. we're done with the show. Yeah. After or hours. Maybe, or maybe we, I won't. I'll just turn it up on low battery. I love the low battery show. The low battery. Oh, no. <laughs> not the low battery show. Uh... I love being on the low battery All show. right. All right. Well, I want to end the show on a note other mm -hmm. than just goodbye okay so here's what we're gonna do are we we're gonna jimmy fallon this? we're gonna yes we're gonna do a little jimmy fallon right now we're yeah. gonna play rock paper scissors we're to see rock, who's paper, gonna scissors. be host next episode wow because yeah that's that's the twist everybody if you didn't get it uh, you we are co-hosting the show we're co-hosting the show and we're both gonna be on the show um sometimes sometimes together at the same time and sometimes not yeah. But we are going to be co-hosting the show. This is the After Hour Show with Omar Moreno and Dominic Valdez. So, but you wish I said your name. Put them up. Yeah, I hope I <laughs> wish you did. Put them up. Put them up there, All right. brother. You shouldn't see that. That's yeah, not don't, actual don't phone. Yeah, don't put your phone. Don't put your phone. <laughs> put them up, bro. Cut that. Close it up, brother. All right. All right, ready? All right, so you ready? All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, two out of three. Two out of three. All right. Two out of three, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, right, well. <laughs> let's go. Uh, I can't right. do anything into that. I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode of the After Hour Show. Our next guest will be Termin. I knew you were going to say that. Two right. years, <laughs> Our next guest will be on the show, and uh, it won't be one of us. It'll be somebody else, somebody completely different, somebody you don't know. Maybe Matthew Roberts. He's pretty famous. Oh, Matthew Roberts. Maybe Matthew Roberts. He's a pretty yeah. famous guy. Maybe Matthew Patrick. Maybe. No, I don't think he would. I, he, li he doesn't live in Texas. He lives in North Carolina. Uh, yeah, who does live in Texas? But you know who does live in Texas? Who? Christopher Olivares. I think he would be a great Christopher guy. Christopher Olivares. The famous co-editor-in-chief of the South Texan. I think Fame, he he's would, famous co-editor. He was famous. He's a famous, famous guy. So, he's in our audience right now. He's a, yeah, he's actually in our audience. Yeah. Thanks, Chris, for being here. You are the biggest supporter right now. Uh, all the cheers that everyone's been hearing back at home. Thank Chris Olivares. Anyways, right. thank you for the After Hours show. Good night, everybody. Thank you.